Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Taisha. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. I'm going to be testing out some new e.l.f. primer. I freaking love e.l.f. And when I saw they released a matte putty primer, I was so excited. I'm super excited to test this out, see how it wears throughout the day. You guys know I have oily skin, I have texture, all that stuff. So we'll see how this one works on my skin. We all know and love the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. This one's really good for blurring the pores. Especially right here since I have a lot, but it doesn't do anything when it comes to expanding my makeup personally And I have always said it so I feel like elf listen to all of us all Oily skin girls out there and they have released this primer right here So it says it's infused with kaolin clay and white charcoal Which honestly I have no idea what it is, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be good for oily skin So yeah, that's gonna be today's video. By the way, you guys, this is my new background I have finally moved into my new room. This whole week has been crazy So I hope you all had a wonderful holiday season or still having a great you know freaking season um i've been sick i moved i broke a nail you guys i've been through it all okay but i'm excited to be back here filming videos so without further ado let's zoom the camera in and let's try out the new elf putty primer the camera is zoomed in i'm gonna go ahead and add more lip gloss because i can never do my makeup without moisturizing my lips it's just like impossible for me so let's talk about packaging they're both exactly the same this is the matte this is the poreless one really good hopefully one day they release like one that is combined you know and let's see i'm gonna go ahead and read to you guys what it claims to do so this one retails for eight dollars um, it says our best-selling primer goes matte. The skin perfecting putty primer is infused with kaolin and kaolin I know I'm saying it wrong and white charcoal to absorb excess oil for a shine free finish The velvety texture glides effortlessly over the skin smoothing over imperfections For a poreless effect and the ultimate grip of makeup. Oh, that's so cool So I guess it's like poreless and matte mixed together we will see you guys that's actually really nice um so the matte primer is perfect for those who want a shine free matte complexion and then the poreless one is perfect for those who want a poreless flawless finish so this one will be perfect for all skin types and then luminous one is perfect for those who want a radiant glowing complexion which personally me i'm not interested on in that one so now i'm even more excited to try this out Let's see, doesn't really have a scent and that's what it looks like, just white. And then let me smell this one, let's see. I feel like none of them really have a scent. It just smell like the L primer, I don't know. The primer feels like creamy in a way. Um, and it looks like on my finger, on my missing nail. And then this is what it looks like on my hand. Feels really matte, it's creamy. But definitely i can feel the matte effect to it so i'm gonna go ahead get a little bit it's kind of weird i feel like the poreless one it's a little bit more thicker this one is a lot more like creamier so i'm gonna apply it right here oh wow um, you can really see the mattifying effect to it it feels creamy though that's what it looks like on that side the matte primer and then i'm gonna go ahead and apply the poreless one to this other side you see this one's a lot more creamier it could be because this one's a new one i'm gonna apply it here this one is 10 times more blurring when it comes to the pores okay so i'm just gonna repeat the same steps on both sides of my face and that's what it looks like. So the, here's the matte one, which honestly looks pretty matte. And that's cool too, because I don't see any color. So you can also wear this just in the summertime. You know how sometimes just get oily for no reason? Then you can just apply it and you're good to go if you're not into wearing makeup. This one definitely has more of a tone to it. At least on my skin tone, you can kind of see it, right? This one's a little bit more lighter and this one's more my true skin tone. So for foundation today, I think I'm going to go in with the Frankie Rose Foundation. I'm in the color Olive because I haven't self-tan in a while because I've been going through it. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and apply my foundation here. We will see how much of a matte finish this will give us because this foundation isn't super matte. I'm gonna go ahead and blend it with the e.l.f. sponge. That's $4. You guys can get it at Walmart, Target, Ulta, pretty much everywhere now. I'm gonna go ahead and blend it in. The foundation is definitely going more matte on this side. The pores look pretty good too, like nothing looks bad. I'm running low out of this foundation. It's like the first foundation I actually use. It's because you need a lot of this foundation to get full coverage, but it's a really good formula. All right, so this is what it looks like with one layer of foundation on both sides. This is the poreless side and this is the matte side. I genuinely can't see a difference. Where's my mirror? Let me try and find a closer mirror. Oh wow, I just realized you guys that this whole entire time, you guys know that Kylie blush is my favorite. I just realized I never taken the tape out. No wonder it looks dirty all the time. Let me peel this off. Ooh, brand new. So let me take a closer look at my skin. Both sides look pretty much the same when it comes to the pores. Everything looks very blurring. I need to shave my mustache. I have like a little mustache coming in. This one, it's definitely more matte than this side right here and you can even feel it. Like it's making the foundation way more matte, but looks really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply one more layer of foundation. You guys, look at that. This foundation is running so low. I'm gonna apply some here and I'm gonna let it sit so it gives me more coverage. So I'm gonna let it sit there. The same thing you do for concealer to get a more fuller coverage, you can do with foundation as well. But you have to be careful which foundations you do it for because some foundations really dry fast. This one doesn't really. So think about it like foundation baking. One of you guys actually told me that and I was like mind blown because it makes sense. Like it totally makes sense. You see, it gives you way more coverage like that. And you always want to make sure you bounce it, okay? Sometimes I even forget to. But always get into a habit of bouncing your foundation in. I'm going to use this new... I was going to say new. New color. This is the Light Sand. I usually get... I think it's Sand Beige, but it does oxidize. So if you're trying out the e.l.f. 16 Hour Wear Concealer, remember it definitely oxidizes. I didn't think this color was so light too. I don't know where the other color is that I usually wear, but I'm just gonna make this work. And then I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out. If you guys haven't tried this concealer, definitely try it out, it's amazing. And I believe it's like $5. My skin just feels super good and mad. You know those days that you know it's gonna be a good makeup day? I feel like that day is too day for me. But girl, this mustache, if you guys see it on camera, just pretend it's not there. I'll get rid of it at the end of this video. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and apply some powder even though trust me you guys I feel like I don't need to wear primer today it just feels so matte and let me feel the difference yeah this side just feels more matte and this one still feels a little bit more tacky I'm using the Huda Beauty what is this called easy bake loose baking and setting powder in the color pound cake and I'm gonna go ahead and grab my sponge. I never over apply um, powder. Just apply a thin layer of powder. And then for the rest of my face, you guys already know, I'm taking my Benefit Hello Happy Powder in the shade 5. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just set the rest of my face. You guys, I can definitely... I'm telling you, I can feel the difference when it comes to my skin. This side feels way more matte. So I am liking it so far. I haven't done my makeup also in so long. It's been like a week. I didn't even do it for Christmas because I'm telling you, I cannot find literally nothing. So it disappeared. Let's bronze up the skin. I'm taking my Lawless Summer Skin in the shade Golden Bronze. Now I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. brush. I'm gonna go ahead and contour my face. Like always, Batty on the Blog from Kylie best blush ever i'm gonna apply it here cannot find my milani bronzer but i'm gonna be taking this one from tarte um i order also like a new makeup vanity 
not a vanity, but like the Ikea drawers that everybody has for my makeup since my collection is like increasing. So I will be doing a video like organizing my makeup. That's what I'm planning to do. But let me go ahead and contour the nails. This is a pretty color too. I used to love this palette. I don't know if you guys remember, if you guys have been watching me for that long, but I used to love this palette. And now I see why again. All right, and then I'm gonna go in with the KKW in the shade. He's a mixer. I used this once. And let's see. Ooh, that's a pretty shade. Ooh, that's pretty. Let me get a little bit of the Huda. What is this called? Staycation? This is just me now playing with makeup because I haven't done it in so long. Let me finish my lower lash line and then we'll see if I apply blush. So for my eyes, today's palette, it's the Huda Beauty Nude Medium Palette. I freaking love this palette. I have a whole video in case you guys haven't seen it. Definitely check it out. Let me see if I can find a little brush. So I'm going to go ahead and just smoke out my lower lash line really fast. Ooh, that's so pretty. Look at that. Just like the perfect warm tone nude palette. This is what the makeup looks like. I'm not gonna apply any setting powder, any setting powder. I'm not gonna apply any setting spray today because I really want to see how everything looks like. But if I'm being honest, I feel like the matte one really does blur and it mattifies at the same time. All right, guys, so I went ahead and finished my makeup. This is how everything is looking like. I am loving how everything looks like, you guys. Honestly, I feel like I can definitely see a difference. First of all, I thought this was just supposed to be a mattifying primer, but then it also claims to be, you know, blurring as well. So... I'm actually really really liking how it feels. It feels super easy to blend like super nice and creamy um, I feel like this one is a little bit more thicker This one's a little bit more lighter and I feel like you can definitely see the matte effect right when you apply it And it doesn't leave like any I guess color behind so if you're not into wearing makeup and you just want something to keep you mad I feel like you're really gonna like this so so far I'm loving how my makeup is looking like I love how both sides look like to be honest but I can feel my makeup more matte and more like I don't know how to explain it like that on this side of my face but yeah everything looks really pretty both sides look really blurring they both look great I am loving guys how my makeup is look like I just look like an Instagram filter like it looks so good and yeah i just feel like this side is just more flawless than this other side so right now it's currently 12 49 i'm just gonna say 12 50 and i'm gonna be trying and wear this more than eight hours to see if i see a difference which primer works better for oily skin but right now i give it a thumbs up to this side i just really like how it's matte and it's poreless everything i've been wanting for this one because i always said it this one is really blurring but it does not make my makeup last longer so like i said it's 12 50 i'm gonna go ahead go throughout my day and then i'll be back in a couple of hours all right guys so i am back it is currently 10 29 p.m it has been around nine ish hours and this is how my makeup is looking like to be honest you guys i feel like it looks so good on both sides you can definitely see a difference not a huge huge difference but if you really look into my skin you know you're really like trying to see a difference i feel like the side with the matte um, putty primer looks way more matte than the just the original poreless putty primer I don't know if you guys can see a difference but I can see a difference when it comes to the cheek area and the nose like around this side of the face right here and also in the forehead like look it doesn't even feel oily and on this side it feels a little bit more oily it's like a little bit of a difference nothing too huge I mean yeah you can kind of see the difference look See this side more oily and this side it's a lot more matte. I like how both sides you can still see my primer. You can see, I mean see my primer. You can still see my blush. You can see my bronzer. Everything just looks so good. But I can definitely see that this one is way more matte. And I like how the matte putty primer also blurs. So it's like a two-in-one, which I also really like. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is take my clean and clear blotting sheets. And I'm gonna go ahead and blot it and see where we get more oils. So I have them right here. I'm gonna use 
this side here and see what happens. I mean, both sides look pretty good for me. So that's what it looks like right there. And then I feel like I have more wrong right here on the cheek area. This is where I get like the most oily. It's like the whole, pretty much my whole face. I don't even know what I'm talking about. So this is what it looks like for less side. And then this is the matte side. So that's first. This one, I don't even have to blot that much, I'm telling you. It's just here where I get the most oily. And even on this area, there's not a lot. This is what it looks like. And then this is the poreless side. So you can definitely see the difference right there. This doesn't lie, you guys. You can see I am way more oilier. Nothing too dramatic, but I'm definitely more oilier on this side than on the matte side. And I can see the difference now you see now that we have blotted both places i am way more mad on this side i feel like i forgot a little bit here so let me get it so i can be fair and really see so that's what it looks like and then this is the portless one you see how much more oil this one has and i noticed it around right here my most oily spot on my face i love how my bronzer and blush is still there that's always a sign of a good primer so so far you guys i'm honestly really liking how this primer feels like looks like makes my makeup wear i feel like this is going to become one of my new favorite drugstore primers especially for eight dollars it's matte it's poreless what else do we want you know so i'm gonna go ahead go to sleep remove all this makeup and i will see you guys tomorrow it's the next day i tried doing my hair kind of cute but girl i need to go and wash my hair um right now it is currently 3 55 on uh, sunday december 29 i'm gonna actually go and try to upload this video today but you guys i've been wearing my makeup for around four ish hours i applied it around like 11 30 and i am absolutely loving how everything looks like i feel like i have found my favorite primer at the drugstore not only is it only eight dollars it also is matte which works great for my oily skin it's blurring at the same time and it just makes your foundation look so pretty and so smooth which is everything i wanted and i feel like it actually does make your makeup last longer especially with this foundation it's not the most long wearing on me and you guys saw it yesterday it definitely lasted a lot of hours so if you guys find this primer definitely pick it up and let me know what you guys think in the comments below i feel like i have found the primer of 2020 imagine you guys imagine all the stuff elf is about to release i feel like every year they launch more amazing like makeup so i cannot wait to see what else the drugstore in general has in store for us but girl this primer is really good and you guys could see it too so let me know what you guys think in the comments below i love how easy it is to blend out too usually matte primers are super matte and like kind of hard to blend out but this one you guys saw it wasn't at all so i'm super impressed with this primer like i said let me know if you guys have tried it or let me know if you guys are gonna try it so you guys all that being said thank you so much for hanging out with me and watching this video i will be doing a lot a lot a lot of more reviews i have so many new makeup like i just order it so i'm waiting for everything to arrive and a lot of more videos are coming your way so if you guys haven't subscribed make sure you guys do and click that little bell and also give this video a thumbs up and i will see you guys on the next one bye guys